Not what like all the pirate pirate's jokes. favorite letter? R. R. You would think so, but it'd be the C. <laughs> Hello again, Misfits, and welcome to another Under the Lid, and today we're taking at Libertalia. Now, thank you again for Stonemeyer Games that sent us a copy of this. We were excited, actually. This is an older game that kind of got refreshed. They went to the designer, actually, and spoke with him, and he was, like, all for it. He was like, hey, yeah, cool, update my game, and, uh, you know, basically tweak, you know, tweak the rules. Obviously, you know, as games age, they find better ways to do things, so they tweak the rules a little bit, updated the art and all that stuff, because, you know, games can always look better. It's always true, right? You can make Rome better, right? You can make... Empire or what, what is your Rome game? What is this whole game back here? That's perfection. You can always make a game better. So anyway, uh, this is Libertalia. So they call it Winds of Gelcrest, but it's it's a it's a it's a re-imaging or redo, like I like I said. Um and uh, I actually am I'm ashamed. I actually have not really played the original if or if I haven't, it's been a very long time because I think the game came out like in 2012 or something like that. But basically you're playing a pirate and it's a it's a card-based game, you're laying down cards and uh, basically everybody puts their stuff down and they have a sequential order and stuff happens in the daytime to get the balloons, the pirates do things, and then stuff happens at nighttime. Um, it's, that's basically my best, I mean, that's a basically my best breakdown of the game right now because obviously this is under the lid. We're going to do a let's play of this though. I think we should do a card game version of this, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Right, Misfit Tom? Yeah. Sure. Sure. He Maybe. seems confused. Maybe. Yar. <laughs> yeah. R. <laughs> the answer is R, not the C. Uh, so here's the dials in the game, of course. It's the C! Oh, no, don't, no, yeah, oh, hmm. Uh, and we have, uh, the, uh, board here. If your character is the only character ranked 20 or less, you must place it in the space. I'm not sure actually what that's for, because, like I said, I haven't actually played the game yet. But we're gonna change all that. We are definitely gonna change all that. You got, uh, hooks and sabers and maps and amulets. So you got different things your pirates can get. I like the little chest, the treasure chest that they do. These are cute. You like you like that Misfit Dawn, isn't it? It looks cute. I like it. Doesn't look like Earth, but it is very cool looking. I love the art. He loves the art. Yeah, I do. I do like that art actually. I'm glad they, they redid it because I did I did see the original version of the material. I just never I just never played it. Um, now here's our board. Now the one thing we love about Stonemaier especially is uh, um, the they uh, are one of the especially early designers um, some more designers do it these days uh, but they are kind of one of those early designers that basically make like their games almost like uh, a deluxe edition out of the gate like all of their games look great and they have a like usually a lot of good stuff in it like their games are not usually the cheapest games like you don't get in just cardboard and that's it like this is not just the game you know and another thing i love is that all of their stuff has like custom trays in it too like they don't just give you uh, and and that's not to say other people don't do custom trays they do their custom trays right i've seen a lot of custom trays and there are some games uh, that i can't stand where they'll give you a tray and they'll have just the right space to put a couple of your cards and stuff but as soon as you put sleeves on the cards you're done as soon as one expansion comes out you're done you're ripping the thing out they always have like enough space for their expansions and everything else involved. So you can rest assured if something else comes out for the game, they'll have space for it. And they always give you these cool, like these little white bags. They're the owners of these white bags too. I don't know if anybody else does, but every time, time I get a Stonemaier game, I get these white bags. And I, I know when I have extra white baggies, I, I know where they come from. Little tidbit that you might may or may not have cared about, um, but I always remember that. So these are nice solid Azul sized uh, if you don't know what Azul is, you can look it up. Uh, tokens or whatever for the board. So it might just sound like a basic card game, but there's a lot more going on here usually. But at the heart of the game, there's 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 cards. Those are some chonky tiles. Like I said, they're like Azul-sized chonk tiles over here. And you got your little uh, trackers for your different players, your different pirates. Um, you have cards and cards and more cards, each in its different category, even different like pocket over here. Um, I should show you the layout, but they have everything in its own space, um, but it obviously has some wiggle room in there. You could put these in sleeves and you'll be good. Which, I mean, I can't, I can't even sleeve all the game, card games I have these days. It's like redonkulous. So, I was going to wear a pirate hat for this, but Tom, we couldn't find our pirate hat, sadly. We're, weren't we, Tom? We were going to go with the pirate hat I option. I couldn't find it. It's very sad. I could have, I deprived you of me talking like, arr. Army hearty, ah, look at the cards. I really can't do pirate impersonations. Does anybody do a good pirate impersonation? Anybody here? No? No. No, no sadly. Our other pirate left, he already left, one who was, who was talking about the sea. We won't name him though. Arr. Arr. 
So obviously I have a lot of pirate theme goodness. Um, I do like the fact though they kind of inject a bit of fantasy into this uh, with the art. So, I mean, it could have just went plain Jane. Uh, each card's a realistic person, but like there are animals and crazy stuff going on in these cards. You notice that, dude? I like the art style a lot. It kind of adds yeah, a little more. So like the beggar and the innkeeper and these guys are all like animal people, but you also got regular people on here too and elves and stuff. So they kind of went almost like they could have called this Libertaria D&D card art. I don't know. I w it, it, it's all fantasy based. It's just it's definitely funky looking. I, I like it a lot though. It definitely adds a little bit of flair to it instead definitely of being... Definitely a lot of great flavor. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yummy. Look at that. So... A lot of these cards, you got multiple, multiple cards. And, of course, player aids, which you need player aids, of course, as always I've said in every game. Which I think largely, for the most part, I think do. I, I, I don't run across many games that don't have player aids anymore. It's kind of a must. But be warned, any game any game maker out there who's not putting out player aids is going to feel my wrath. Wrath con. Beware Anthony's wrath. Beware my wrath. And then these are the pegs for your dials that I showed before. These are more pegs for your dials. Beware Anthony's wrath. <laughs> My piratey wrath. <laughs> yeah. <Yar. laughs> uh, I'm tired. I'll stop saying that now. I will stop saying yar. People probably heard of every pirate video from here to Kingdom Come. So this is obviously to hold tiles or your little tokens. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And again, this is something Stonemaier does in every single one of their games. I don't have a single one of their games. And I own quite a few Stonemaier games. Quite a few Stonemaier games, actually. And they do this in every one. Nice burlap sack to put. Uh, you kidnap a wench. You put it right in the sack, right? Is that what you do? That's not politically correct these days. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant um, a, a woman of ill repute. Repute? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. know. I don't know. I don't even know. I give up. Uh, <laughs> you have a sack. Obviously, it's for these tokens. Very Azul style here, right? Have you played? It's a token sack. It's a t no, that's... <laughs> No, we're not doing that. We are not doing that. <clears throat> Have you played Azul? Have you played Azul? Yes. Ah, it's awesome. It's awesome. Love it. So, uh, yeah. Nice sack. So, guys. That's what she said. That's, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I apologize, Stonemeyer. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, this is all that's in the box. Uh, there's, there's a lot of good stuff here. We're definitely going to play this game. Uh, I love pirate theme games. I'm a huge pirate fan. I kind of was in, in with the whole Pirates of the Caribbean thing. So it's kind of a good timing on this, even if, uh, even if, you know, that series isn't popular anymore. Uh, I think we need some more good pirate games. I haven't really seen a lot of good pirate games lately. Have you? Not really a whole ton of them. There's a few that kind of stood the test of time, uh, but not too many out right now. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for joining, you know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Sail the friendly seas or unfriendly seas, however you feel. Come and check this game out, guys. It looks like a lot of fun. Thanks again to Stonemaier Games, of course. And as always, our.